Let's look into more factors that affect how quickly the liver can clear drug from the body using the well-stirred model. This time we're going to look at intrinsic clearance. And the well-stirred equation, intrinsic clearance is represented by CL sub I. Intrinsic clearance reflects how well the liver removes the drug by metabolism and by biliary excretion. The liver excretes waste products in the bile, which then travels through the bile duct and is dumped into the duodenum. There are a few drugs that we know get at least partially excreted in the bile unchanged. One such drug is doxorubicin, which is a drug used to treat some cancers. Most of the doxorubicin given to a patient gets metabolized, with some of the metabolites also being active. About 40% of the doxorubicin comes back out in the bile unchanged. Cholestasis is a condition where bile is not being moved from the liver to the duodenum. It might be caused by a gallstone blocking the duct, cancer, and even some drugs like birth control pills, Bactrim, or erythromycin might cause cholestasis. When bile isn't moving, doxorubicin can build up in the body. To compensate for this possibility, the prescribing information for doxorubicin tells us to watch the patient's serum bilirubin concentration. Bilirubin is also excreted by the bile and accumulates in the blood during cholestasis. If the patient has an elevated serum bilirubin concentration, that should warn the clinician that substances aren't moving from the liver to the duodenum. Normal total bilirubin concentrations in adults are less than 1.2 milligrams per deciliter. If a patient's total bilirubin is higher than that, we might need to cut the doxorubicin dose in half or even to a quarter of what we might normally give. What makes things even more interesting is sometimes that drug that gets passed by the liver into the duodenum via the bile duct is not at the end of its journey. Sometimes that drug gets reabsorbed as it travels down the intestine and ends up in the blood a second time. This is known as enterohepatic circulation. Some common drugs such as morphine and digoxin are thought to undergo some enterohepatic circulation. An interesting trick with enterohepatic circulation can be done with leflunamide, which is a drug used for rheumatoid arthritis. Leflunamide undergoes enterohepatic circulation. If a patient is having adverse effects from the drug and the clinician wants to try to get it out of the patient as quickly as possible, they sometimes give the patient cholestyramine by mouth. Cholestyramine isn't absorbed from the gut, but as it passes through the leflunamide that's being excreted in the bile back into the duodenum gets trapped onto the cholestyramine. Then as the trapped drug passes down the intestine, instead of getting reabsorbed like it might normally do, it passes out unabsorbed into the feces.